everybody. I am going to be trying something that I've been wanting to try for a little over a week, I guess. And I'm just gonna kind of um, do like I normally do. I'm gonna ad lib <laughs> with the amounts that I put in. And I do apologize for that, but that's basically um, how I do it. I go on what I'm feeling uh, at the time and and go from there. So I have been wanting to try this pork chop recipe using apples and onions. Uh, I just can't wait to taste and see what it tastes like. And again, for those of you who don't know, my name is Sharon and I'm just videotaping um, my life as I have time. Um, not claiming to be great at what I do, but I think sometimes as we go along in life, we kind of forget uh, the importance of every day. Every day is vitally important toward um, you know the path before us that God has designed. And so I'm just going to uh, start videotaping little by little as I go along. I am so grateful for this life that I am living and have the benefit of being able to take it one day at a time and have had the experiences that I have had, good and bad. But right now, I'm just really kind of enjoying life. In spite of everything that's going on in the world, I do try to be a positive person and I try to uh, find something good in every day, not just for myself, but for other people as well. I have some, I have been blessed with some really great friends and I wouldn't trade them for anything. And those are friends that I see on a regular basis, friends that I don't see uh, maybe once a year. Uh, they are still very much a part of my life, and uh, I am so grateful for them. So, maybe some of those friends will look at some of the recipes or some of the things that I they find me doing out on the homestead here, at Threshold Homestead. Okay, I'm going to try to um, wait on the apples and go ahead and get these pork chops. I've got, all, not olive oil, I've gotten into the habit of using avocado oil, and I've just covered the pan here, uh, the bottom of the pan, and I'm going to let it get hot, and go from there, let's see, get you back in the screen here, to what's going on, I think you can see what's going on here, okay, I've got these pork chops, they are center cut, pork chops. I'm just going to loosen the pan here. I mean, not the pan, but the package. And there's four of them. So, I'm just going to salt and pepper, as I've always done, with my pork chops. Pork chops are a great um, addition to a weekly menu. Uh, sometimes you can find them on sale. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder on here. And my favorite seasoning for most any meat, chicken, um, pork, beef, <laughs> etc. A little bit of rosemary. Okay, and I'm just going to flip those and put a little bit on the other side before I put them in the pan. I'm hoping this pan's going to get hot here very quickly. Okay, salt. 
pepper. If you want to make your house, I mean, if you're cooking, you want to make sure whenever someone walks in the house while you're cooking and you want it to smell really good, um, just go ahead and, um, I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes on that to get warm. Rosemary is perfect to do that with and I, I just love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, I've got the onions and the apples. I also have some red wine vinegar here that I'm going to use to season as it's simmering in the oven. And I've got some scuppernon jelly that my mama made and some brown sugar that I'm going to sprinkle on top of the apples and the onions. And then I'm going to put it in the oven, which reminds me, let me wash my hands. I use my oven to store some of my other pans. So I'm gonna cook in it. I gotta take them out. Gotta do what you gotta do when you have a small kitchen. Okay, I'm just gonna set that on 350 and depending on how, I, I just want them to come to a, like just simmer slowly. I may turn that down um, to about 275, but I'll see. How they do once I get them in the pan. Those of you who have glass top stoves, you know that each eye is different. They kind of cook the way they want to cook. And sometimes I turn this thing on and it cooks wide open. Sometimes I turn it on and it just takes forever to uh, get to the temperature I would like for it to be. Now, I have been uh, just kind of working all day and uh, here and there and everywhere doing all kind of things. And I wasn't sure if I was going to have time to get to this recipe, but I'm determined because I really don't want to the meat to get ruined by sitting in the refrigerator. I like for it to be fresh. So anyway, this is how it is on a Wednesday evening in our house. Okay. I think that eye is getting warm. Maybe warm enough now. I want to just sear each side of it and then I'm going to turn it down once it does that. And here we go. Okay, just stick this in there. These pork chops are bone in. And some people prefer, you know, not to have bone in there meat when they're cooking it and that's okay as far as you like it and this is a small pan some of my pans are, are a lot of my dishes are still in storage i just think after two years i'd have them out by now but i i don't Now, 
I am going to start assembling what I want to go on top of this, on top of these pork chops. Okay, I'm going to start by turning this down to low, and I'm going to grab my red wine vinegar. I'm not sure if it's, I don't think I've used it yet, so it's not open. I'm just going to give it a shake. And I'm going to cover these pork chops in this red wine vinegar. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little more rosemary just because I love it. And a little more garlic. And then I'm going to take this scuppernong jelly and put a little bit on each pork chop. And the reason I'm using this fork is because I know I'm going to use all of this, which kind of saddens me just a little bit because I like to put this with, every morning I eat a peanut butter toast, or a toast with peanut butter on it, and I add a little bit of this scuppernon jelly. Maybe, maybe I'll get some for Christmas. My mom is 80 years old, and she still cans. She has two bedrooms with canning some just jars and jars of stuff that she's put up for the winter and sometimes at christmas we are blessed enough she'll make a little basket for all of us and we get to enjoy some of her harvest all of her hard work okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start putting the apple apples on here and just kind of lay them out Probably going to wish I had sliced these thinner. Looks like I'm going to have some apples to put up in a Ziploc bag. There's just not enough room. as many as I can. I have no idea what kind of apples these are. But they, they look pretty good. Take what you can get. Whatever's available. So there's that, and then I'm going to take these onions that I've cut up, just a few, and just kind of sprinkle them all out. And that's just going to give it another sweetness, maybe a little sweet and spicy. I'm going to use all of these the ones I don't drop anyway. I've already planted my onions for next year. 
Hopefully, they'll get bigger than these did this year. Hopefully. Okay. And there's those. All right. I'm going to rinse my hands real quick, and then I'll get the rest of the ingredients on there. Like I said, I was going to use some brown sugar on top. And again, I'm starting with one half cup. Just to see how this looks when I get it on there. I want to make sure I get a little bit on all of the apples. For some reason, I feel like I just would like to have a little bit of citrusy something on this. And I didn't say it was going to be low in calories. Let me grab just a little bit. Some lemon juice here instead of the brown sugar you could use honey raw honey if you have it that would work okay. and that's just enough of that okay let me go back over everything I'll do all of that. I have the red wine vinegar, garlic, rosemary, salt and pepper, brown sugar. Apples, onions. Hmm. I think that looks pretty good already. <laughs> I'm going to be so excited. I'm going to stick these in the fridge, back with the lemon juice, and come back later. I'll see you guys later. got the dish out of the oven, the pork chop with the apples and onions and brown sugar and all the other goodness that was put in there. We're having, um, for a side dish, we're having leftover cabbage with that smoked sausage or kielbasa sausage. And then from our roast beef night, we're going to have um, some potatoes and carrots from there. So, just kind of eating up what's in the fridge to go along with this main dish here. So I'm going to try to plate it up and see what it looks like. And there you have it, guys. Pork chop with apples and leftover side dishes can't ask for more than that so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please um, like and subscribe to my channel i'm going to have a lot more recipes and daily life on the homestead videos coming up real soon 
Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great night. See you next time.